guys, as we open up Diamond Zone um, every morning. Uh, you know what? This, that's actually apropos for this uh, Diamond Zone because of all the rank advancements and all the people that, that, that have made the climb and uh, are, are willing to go out there and face the struggles. And you know what? This is the reward that um, uh, you, you could expect when you put forth the effort. And um, once again, I got to congratulate every, all the rank advancers um, um, from last pay cycle. It, it was amazing what, what happened uh, with, with all of us. And I uh, just want to say I appreciate all of you. And uh, uh, we're, we're fortunate today because uh, uh, Mr. Jeremy Roma uh, was on, uh, actually almost be before me. So um, Mr. Jeremy Roma, uh, presidential millionaire, I think you guys know the story, right? Um, I received a text message from this gentleman uh, back in October and uh, intrigued me so much. And I always make the point, and, and, and I just want to reemphasize this point because a lot of people – you know, when I'm doing these three-way calls on a daily basis or I'm in touch with our team, um, I, I had a conversation yesterday and they said, you know, I'm sending out all these text messages and, and my percentages are not good. I said, well, let me ask you, let me ask you a question. What are you doing? And, and they would tell me it was just like a blind text. I go, do you know these people? He goes, well, I'm not really talking to people I know yet. I go, you have to understand when you're doing cold market, cold market text without a relationship, you're going to have to run a lot of numbers. And I said, let me share with you something. Have you gone to your warm market yet? They go, oh, no, not yet. I'm afraid. Do you know that the reason I, I opened the text message is because of the relationship I had with Jeremy? That's the only reason I opened it. If that was a blind text, I wouldn't get past the first sentence. But because it was Jeremy asking me to watch because he respected my opinion, right, Go, appealing to my ego, hello, okay, that's when I watched it. So j j just a message, guys, everybody needs to hear. So uh, with, with that, guys, I want to turn this over um, uh, to, to Mr. Jeremy Roma. Uh, where are you, brother? I'm here, uh, brother. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, there you are. There you are. Perfect. Yes, yes. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Man, I couldn't miss this morning, bro. After I saw the, you know, the results that you guys created this last cycle, I was just blown away. And, and first of all, I just want to piggyback on what you just said, you know, because it was interesting. Ken, Ken Kelm gave me a call this week, too. And he said, you know, I think that some people are, are hiding behind this text message idea and they're texting people that they should be calling. They're texting people that they need to be building some rapport with and they're blasting them out of nowhere and wondering why they're not getting results. And for you to bring that up this morning again, you know, what people need to know is that Jeff, you and I text each other on a regular basis. It wasn't daily, but it was weekly. It was bi-weekly. We touch in, Hey brother, how's life going? What's happening in your business? We, we had a relationship, like you said, that we communicated through. And so I just want to say, you know, there's some folks that you need to pick up the phone and call. There's some folks that your, your first text message to them shouldn't be, hey, watch this two-minute video. Your first text to them needs to be, man, let's catch up. You know, I've I, you know, been thinking about you, and let's catch up. And, and you know, I, I reached out to a guy two days ago that, you know, I talked to him every three or six months. He's a businessman. And I didn't jump in and say, watch this two-minute video. I said, bro, I, I've got some inside information on something. You and I need to talk. When can, we, when can we get on a call this week? And he said, bro, call me on Wednesday. And we set it up. And so I didn't just jump in and say, watch a video because I know my context of my relationship with him and where we are in that relationship, we need to have a conversation. So I love what you said. But that being said, I just, I just want to jump on this morning. First of all, congratulate you and Lisa. Holy cow, a 30 thousand dollar a week you guys um they i mean literally scratched i mean right at the door of grand grand president um but blew past double president and it was just unbelievable and i know what that means for their business and what was amazing and you see sometimes people will will hit a rank that's impressive but what's impressive is the number of diamond double diamonds grand diamonds i have to give a shout out uh, to sheila harrison for hitting president, guys. This is huge, huge, huge. That means that she had a $10,000 cycle 
in her business. And uh, the, you know, I, I can't even name all of the people that rank advanced in your guys' group, the, the new platinums, the new golds, the new diamonds and above was just incredible. Here's what I want to share with everybody. The most strategic thing, I had a, a message from a team member, a double diamond up in Canada. And he said, man, how was your cycle this week? How's it going? They're running hard. And I said, look, we had a huge cycle, but I, this is what I shared with him. I said, but my focus right now, he said, how did your push go? I said, I do my pushes in 90 day runs. My pushes are in 90 days. And right now I will measure the results of the push by how many people are at the international convention in October. You can measure your success right now based upon how many people are in Las Vegas in October. And that's the real focus right now. And that's what Jeff and Lisa are focused on. The reason they had a record week in business and the reason they had record rank advancements is they came out of Disrupt and said, now guys, let's go on a 90 day run to Vegas. So understand that the cycle that just finished is the very beginning. You guys are in the early stages of this 90 day run to the end of October. We still have the rest of August, September, and most of October. We're only one of three months in to this 90 day run. So what you guys saw this cycle is the tip of the iceberg for the next couple of months uh, uh, leading into the Vegas convention. Now I'm going to share something with you guys as leaders. We had a, a president millionaire meeting with with Nat and Chidi, with everybody, as a team, we raised the bar with the Disrupt event. We did what had yet to be done in North America. Well, as a result of that, the president millionaires came together and said, look, let's do a 90-day event from convention, and let's make it the biggest North American event we've ever had. And so here's what we're preparing for you guys. Not only do we have the October convention in Vegas, but from there, another 90-day run. And I'm telling you guys, with the announcements and the product launches and the new apps that we're going to be releasing in the next uh, 60 days and then, and then in January, you have a chance to set yourself up for the rest of your life. Now, you guys know that, that, that we don't like to future. We don't like to, you know, talk about what's coming, always what's coming. But we know what is coming. This is not a hype or a hope or a wishful thinking. We know what's taking place with the uh, collaboration now with the HECA Corporation and where this is going. And we know that the Las Vegas Convention will be a turning point in your business. And then the 90 days that follow is going to lead to another pivotal moment in your business. So let's take time to definitely celebrate the victories because this is the biggest cycle that this team has ever had. More rank advancements than we've ever seen. What I love about this particular week for your group, Jeff, is the song that you played this morning was the perfect song because the majority of rank advancements in your group were people that have been in the trenches. Uh, you know, Sheila Harrison is a great example. Dan Mays is a great example. The list goes on and on of people that have overcome hurdle after hurdle after hurdle. People that were here through obstacles that some of you on the webinar don't even know about that we had in the beginning. Obstacle after obstacle. Guess what? They had the same shipping issues that you had. They had the same back office issues that you had. They had the same hurdles but they never gave up and they've led their team through those hurdles. And now as a result of that, they're getting their payday, they're getting their victory. And so I wanna encourage every person on this webinar to go through the climb and, and build and build and build into this October convention because it's gonna take your business to the next level. And we now we're seeing the results of people that promoted the last big event 30 days later, they're, they're seeing momentum now in their business, and the same thing will happen for you as we build for uh, be, for the next 60 days between now and the, and the October convention. So, let's celebrate the victories, but let those victories be confirmation to you. Never give up. Never stop the climb. Never stop moving forward because those folks that never gave up and continue to keep their eyes on the prize are the ones that are now tapping into the momentum. And that's what your business is going to look like in the next 90 days. If you stay focused, focus on packing out the October convention in Las Vegas, and you're going to see some amazing things take place as a result of that. By the way, that song, Jeff, I'll never forget 
sitting in the movie theater with my daughter years ago when the movie came out and they played that song and brother, I was bawling like a baby in that movie theater. My daughter still reminds me of that. And for you to have played that song this morning really touched my heart too. And I just want to invite everyone to keep climbing and moving forward and all of the successes that you've seen on this team, this cycle will be your story in the next 90 days uh, as well. So Jeff, Lisa, I love you guys. Super excited. Congrats to all of the new rank advancements on your team. And I'll throw it back to you, brother. Hey, Jeremy, thank you. That was a great surprise. Uh, guys, big round of applause for Jeremy, our presidential millionaire. And, uh, you know, I, I, I thank you and, you know, all your support. Um, you know, when, we, when Lisa and I first came over here, you know, we were underground. And I, I think you guys know that we came from another company. And, you know, if it wasn't for, for Jeremy and, and us really relying on three-way calls because, you know, we just couldn't come out and uh, he, he's really established a, a, a foundation uh, for what Lisa and I follow uh, on a daily basis. So, so Jeremy, thanks for that text message, brother. <laughs> I'll never forget it. I actually showed Jeremy. I, I'll never erase it. Okay. I actually showed Jeremy that text message. Um, I forgot where we were, what event. He goes, oh, my gosh, you kept it? I go, yep. And I, I sent him a it, screenshot of it because – It was at the L.A. event. It was at the L.A. event in January um, before the before our, we all went to Dubai together. That's when it was. Yeah, yeah. People think I make that up. I'm telling you, I was working out the gym and the, my phone ding. And like I said, and I must repeat it, since it was Jeremy, I read the text. And the relationship from there, and here we are. Here we are. So, Jeremy, and thank Jeff, you, I think it's a, I think it's important for people to hear this. You know, Jeff and Lisa had had a lot more success in network marketing than I had had. So we we weren't we were friends, but we weren't income peers. I never made the type of money that Jeff and Lisa made, and I never had the type of success that Jeff and Lisa had. Jeff and Lisa were way beyond my comfort zone level way beyond my success level when I reached out to Jeff and Lisa they were on my chicken list so to speak they were on the list of people that I knew were better than me and had had more success than me um, there's a, a new president that just broke in the company in Canada who's a multiple six-figure earner and he was in he was recruited by somebody that has never made more than a thousand dollars in network marketing but they reached out to him they made the contact through a relationship and then plugged him into their upline for the third party validation. And they just now broke a, 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 a first, his first week in the business, he went president and he's a big network marketer. So keep in mind that there are people in your network that you can bring into this business who may have had more success than you, like Jeff and Lisa had more success than me, but they can be in your organization if you have the courage to reach out to them and, and, and share this information with them. So I thought that needed to be said, Jeff. Oh my gosh, I mean, talk about another nugget. I didn't know I was on this chicken list, <laughs> but uh, oh my gosh. I mean, can you imagine someone, it, it, but that, that's what it is. We think too much. We think too much. Oh my gosh, what will they think? Who cares what they think? Really? Okay. Anyway, Jeremy, I, I, I certainly appreciate that. I want to take a little bit of time, guys, because I recognized everybody um, yesterday of the people hitting diamonds and above. Um, but I also want anybody on the call to unmute themselves. And if you have people you want to recognize, um, I, I think it's very important. Recognition is so important. Anybody you want to recognize that hit team builder, team developer, uh, gold or platinum, uh, I, I think it's important uh, in, in your groups. So um, whoever wants to go first, uh, people that you have that are up and coming rising stars, uh, I, I, I wanna hear from you guys. Hey, good morning, Jeff, it's Dawn Marie, how are you? Hi, Dawn Marie. So I wanna give a huge shout out to Tammy and John Agin for hitting gold last um, pay cycle. I'm super excited for them. Awesome. And the gold does how much, um, um, Dawn Marie? 2,000 in the pay leg. 2,000 in the pay leg. Guys, that's no joke. That's no joke. And, 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 and that's a testament also to you, Dawn Marie, and, and, and really, really working um, with people. And, uh, yes, Tammy and John, congratulations, you guys. Thank Who you. Who else? Jeff, it's Fran. Hi, Fran. Miss, Miss Diamond. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I would like to recognize Dr. Mindy Clark, 
Outgoing Team Developer this pay cycle. Um, Mindy achieved uh, Team Developer, and I am so excited for Mindy and her team. And I just keep thinking, wow, where do I start to recognize Mindy? Just to give you a little background, we met through LinkedIn and instantly connected and became good friends. And I feel like I've known Mindy for years. I mean, we've laughed together, we cried together, we strategized together. But most of all, we have the same common goal to help people from a health and financial perspective. And Mindy is just a special lady. She's a master connector with great tenacity and a personality that's bigger than life. And the fact that Mindy gave up going to Harvard to build her Hilo business just to me says it all. She has such belief in the company and the advice, the financial rewards coupled with passion for health. For her next rank advance, she will be diamond. And Mindy's always promoting Hilo, whether it's in a restaurant, the hospital, out and about. She's always introducing it. And she's also a great storyteller. She can captivate an audience and stories sell. So with that, I just want to say I'm so happy and proud to have Mindy on my team. And I wish her the best to the top. Awesome. Awesome. And I, I love what you said, Fran, because, you know, when you, when you work with somebody and a lot of people need to know this, you know, when you take the journey, when you take the journey, yeah, you know what, when you're personally growing with a person and you're there, you're there every minute of every day for a person, there are tears, right? There, there, you, you do cry together, right? Because that's called growth. And, and you, the, the, what you form with somebody. So I'm saying this is a relationship business. You know, people try to pretend this is always through the internet. Listen, we get information through the internet very quickly. Yes. But at the end of the day, it's still a relationship business. Okay. The, the people that you will build with, and there's only going to be a handful, guys. It's not going to be tens of millions of people. It's all going to be predita predicated on seven to ten really good people that you're going to form a relationship with and, and go to battle with and, and cry with. That's how you build an organization. It's being there for those people. And that's why, Fran and Mindy, that relationship, okay, that you guys have formed, I'm telling you, okay, you're going you're gonna to remember the tears because <laughs> that's what people remember. So um, with that, I, I think I hear Dan Mays clearing his throat. No? No, that might have been it. Okay, yeah. Be, be, uh, if you can, guys, just um, – be be uh, be conscious of your muting. So who else has that people they need to recognize? Why are you blaming me, Jeffrey? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> hey, Mr. And Grand Diamond. Now I'm going to interrupt your whole your whole meeting here. <laughs> hey, Mr. Grand Diamond. We're recognizing people on your team uh, that maybe wasn't recognized yesterday. Um, and I don't know if you have anybody, Dan. I know you. I know you have Sheila, and I know you have that whole team out there. But um, uh, anybody else? I Nobody did. specifically, Jeff. I just wanted to just once again, Sheila's entire team, my, my entire group, everybody's still on fire. And uh, even those that didn't rank up are, are you know, they're, they're working it. They're, they're on that path. So um, I'm just excited, man. I'm just excited to be part of this and to watch all these ranks. And congratulations to everybody. And, of course, especially Sheila. What a, what a great job. Right. Well, Dan, thank, thank you, you, and uh, obviously, congratulations to you. Um, that, that, that's, that's a phenomenal accomplishment. But that, that, that's, for me, Grand Diamond for Dan, yes, great accomplishment. But he's a presidential millionaire, guys. That's, in, in my mind, that's, that's done. So it's, 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 just a, it's just a journey for all of us. So, thank um, you, Jeff. Absolutely. Guys, keep us muted if you can. Uh, who else has people you need to recognize, guys? Uh, Good morning, Jeff. No. Women first. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, Jeff. It's Terry from Calgary. Hi, Terry. Yes, I'd like to. I'd like to congratulate uh, Doris Ptolemy from Sylvan Lake for going gold, and I'm very proud of her. This is she's she's been a wonderful friend to me, and um, you know we've been friends for a long time, and I'm so proud of her. You know what drives Doris is her why. And um, it's powerful, and I know that this girl's going to be diamond very soon. 
Oh my gosh, congratulations, congratulations. Like I said, guys, you can't, you can't get to diamond without getting to gold, can't get to platinum until you get to gold. Those are stepping stones, because to get there, you have to do it through people. And when you have numbers of people, it's easier to hit the next rank. People say, Jeff, okay, are you excited about what you guys accomplished? Yes, you know why? We added 300 more people last pay cycle. So when you add 300 more people, is it easier now to get to Grand Diamond or Grand President? Of course. It's always adding people. That's what Jeremy was talking about, the 90-day run of every day. You, every week, you see your organization growing, and then you put numbers to your organization, and you watch how simple it is. Those people who rank advanced will now understand what I mean. It's easier to get to Diamond than sometimes it is to get to Gold. Because at gold, you're pushing the snowball up the hill. At diamond, you have a team helping you. So it's much easier. So hopefully you guys understood that. All right, who else out there, guys? Go ahead, unmute yourself. I know we have a bunch of rank advancements. Yeah. Hi, Jeff. This is John Hagan. Hey, John. Okay, so Tammy and Dave Verbach is on here today. And um, they went to Team Builder Executive over the, the pay cycle. And they've got an incredible amount of contacts and they had a great conversation with you yesterday. And uh, they're just gonna be, they're, they're gonna build it, especially after what was discussed this morning. I think they're gonna take off. Awesome, so, awesome, yeah, we- Tammy. Yeah, congratulations you guys. And it was great talking to you and, and really putting together a plan. So you know we're here every step of the way. Uh, for, for any of those chicken calls you may have. <laughs> All right. Anybody else, guys? It doesn't matter. Who, whoever, whoever wants to talk, rank advancements. People need to hear their names. If not, the... Yeah, Aaron Stevens. Hi, who's this? This is Aaron Stevens. Hi, Aaron. Go ahead. <clears throat> um, my brother, they got me in, Tress Cunningham. He's not on this call. He's in Japan. He just ranked Eric advanced to a team builder, and with his help, I'm going to get there too. I just think he's an awesome representative, and he has go power. He just went to the Thailand meeting and was a translator for them. He's on fire. He's going wow! To get there with him. That's phenomenal, Aaron. Who's your Who's your upline sponsor? Tress Cunningham. Awesome. <laughs> and he's under um. Matt and Tanita, I think. I can't remember who his team sponsor is, but we're in that line, so I'm excited. Very, well, you, you're, in, you're in good hands, obviously, so congratulations. Thank you, and thank uh, you for all you do for us. I learned a lot from you. Awesome, thank you, thank you. Who else is out there, guys? We'll give it another couple of minutes. All right, well, maybe you guys, if you have, go ahead. Hey, Jeff, Jeff it's Bill Davey. I'm, I'm driving as poor service. Um, I just sent you a private in the chat. I don't know if, if you can look in your chat. Yeah. Um, I don't okay. know if you can hear me or not, but um, we have we Mike Brill. Okay, Mike Brillhart, hit team developer. Marlena Christofferson, hit team developer. And, uh, and Charlene Perrieg from uh, Trinidad, hit team developer. And then... Uh, Fran and Jeff Norton, if everything gets straightened out with what they did, they should be team builder executive. Wow. Those are some good ones, Bill. You must be, you must be a grand diamond with those type of people. <laughs> <laughs> President next. Not happy. That's a, Not a, happy. You should never be happy. But hey, thanks, for, right. thanks, for, thanks for getting on here. And uh, I know you got a lot of good stuff going on in Trinidad and many different parts of the country. So very, very, very cool. Anybody else, guys? I'm going to give everybody a chance. Nope? Okay. All right, let's go into what we're going to talk about today. As I told you, we're going to continue our theme. I don't know about theme, but to, just to go through some things. But remember also, um, tonight at 6 o'clock, guys, uh, you don't want to miss uh, Diamond, Shaylisa, and Tim. They'll be doing the um, opportunity presentation uh, Wednesday, we're back to our schedule, right? Remember, I, I went nuts last week. <laughs> I did every one, okay, but that, 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 that's over. So now we have our leadership stepping up, 
And tonight, the leadership is Diamonds, Jay, Lisa, and Tim uh, that will be doing the opportunity presentation. Uh, then we're back on Friday, and then, of course, Sunday night um, uh, is my night. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Okay, use it. This is your system, right? Promote the system. Remember, if someone can't get on um, the, the, the live calls, I like to have the live calls because I think it promotes urgency, okay? But you don't have people wait. If people want information, you guys know there's numerous different um, recorded versions, right? I have one. All the leaders have a recorded version. Okay, whoever you believe has the bright personality for that person, choose your leader. Okay, I don't care who they get the information from. I just want them to get the information fast. And that's a big part of what I believe is a, a I don't want to say the word problem, but yes, problem. Of when people have somebody hot, usually the breakdown is not from the person, it's from the sponsor. Getting them the information quickly. Do you like the two minute video? Yes, okay, well you could get on the call on Friday. Well, wait a minute, it's Tuesday. Okay, we could get people, the reason why the industry has changed is because of the ability to get people information fast. That's the only reason the industry has changed. Is it still a belly to belly industry? Yes. Is it still a relationship business? Yes. The only thing that really has changed is the ability to give people, right, the information. And it doesn't have to be at a weekly meeting like it used to be. That's the difference. But still, the relationship and the training, I believe, still has to be there. And that's why, right, you, you, a lot of you are on, on these calls every morning. So going back to what I talked about yesterday and, just, and going back to just some of the conversations I have, because I learned what's going on in the field by being in constant communication, right, with, with, with um, the, the, the people that are working the business. And I talked about it, and Jeremy talked about it. But I want to reemphasize, there's two ways to, 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 to attack this. Okay, now obviously, if you go cold market only, you're going to have to run a lot of numbers, period. Cold market, unless you're building a relationship like we talked about yesterday, it's still building that relationship. But if you're going to do strictly cold, you're going to have to run a lot of numbers. So the other side of it is, when you are sending out the text message and when you are sending out um, the email or picking up the phone, what are you talking about? I want you to understand something. If you watch that two-minute video, where does it talk about the business opportunity? It doesn't. Unless they go to the seven-minute video, you would never know there was a business attached to that product. So this is why, and this is going to be a big nugget for some of you guys, this is why some people, when they respond back, you want to know what the response is? Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Well, why is that? Because all they're seeing is product. They don't see the business opportunity attached to it. They don't see the globe. Remember my favorite slide, the globe? Right? Let me show you this. They don't see this when they do the ad, when they see that, when they see that two minute video. They don't know there's a, a way to own your own business. They don't know they can make money with that product. They don't know what's happened in wearable tech. They don't, they don't know that, that they could advance and not have a glass ceiling and get out of their current situation that they hate. They don't know that video is, it could help them build residual income. And they don't know about all the great people and the systems that we have in place. You have to paint that picture. You have to paint that picture, which gives the two-minute video more value. This is the missing link for some of you. It's the missing ingredient. You're just sending out two-minute video. And then you're wondering why people just say, well, that's nice. How much is it? When you ever, whenever you hear someone say, how much is it? You know all they're looking at is the product. Do you think people ask how much it is if they know they can make money with it? That never comes up. Because I'm going to paint the vision 
the vision of what's in my product. And what's in my product is not the nano chip that Toshiba has produced. That's not what's in my product. What's in my product is on the screen. And this is why Jeremy said, and I love the point he made, you have to pick up the phone sometimes. You have to have a conversation. You gotta be a person. Sometimes we hide behind the text. I understand why, it's easier. But you gotta also know that you're gonna have to run a lot more numbers as opposed to building a report. I know a lot of people out there, right? They, 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 do, they do Craigslist ads. Am I against, against Craigslist ads? Absolutely not. But at the end of the day, okay, here's what I do know, as, as you still gotta build a rapport, you still gotta build a relationship. If you wanna take people away from looking for a job to wanting an opportunity, you gotta be a person they wanna be involved with. It's still the people business. It doesn't make a difference. But I have a better chance, and always remember my words, a better chance of success if I could throw out to people what they're saying yes or no to. In other words, yes, I have a great product. And here's how I look at it. Do you believe people would want this? Right, here's your two minute video. Now, do you think people want this or do you think they want this more? And here comes the globe. Do I, am I gonna bite more on the money attached to the product? Now, that who doesn't matter, but you gave them a chance. And if that person's antenna is up, see right now you might not even be throwing out that there's a business attached to the product. That's why I say, when you know your tools, know what the two minute video is saying. It doesn't talk about the business. It's all product, product, product. So you have to set the stage prior to them receiving that two minute video. Hey, Jeremy, man, I am so excited. Lisa and I found something very exciting. I thought of you, brother. Okay, I, I believe it's gonna be the next big thing. We got people accomplishing some very significant amounts of immediate income right away. Okay, uh, we got people rank advancing. We got people making 10, 15, $20,000 a week. Okay, and I know we've talked about making money together, Jeremy. I think I found the next big thing. Now. I'm gonna send you a two minute video. Now I want you to understand why we're so excited because nobody is doing what I'm about to send you. Jeremy, if I send you this two minute video, will you watch it? Well, yeah, bro, I'm on the phone now. Well, yeah, brother. Okay, what did I do? What did I do? I showed him and I'm talking to him about what? Money, money. Yes, I'm glad we got a nice wearable. But I want to plant the seed because I know Jeremy. That's why you start with your warm market. You know the hot button. And then now all of a sudden, when that two-minute video comes to Jeremy, does it not have more value? When he's watching it now, what do you think he's thinking? 20000 a week? 20000 a week? 20000 a week? <laughs> right? All of a sudden, right, that blood glucose stuff, yeah, exciting, but $20,000 a week? So you got to throw out what people are looking for. And this is how you set it up to better your chances for people to want to open it, watch it, and also want you to follow up with them. But the other side, guys, ask permission to follow up. Hey, Ward, I'm sending you this. If I send you this, now that you know why I'm so excited, because I just went through this, you got to take a picture of this slide, everybody. You got to practice this. Because this is a great way to set up the two minute video. Hey, Ward, it's Jeff. What's going on, brother? Small talk, small talk, small talk. I'm going to do it one more time for everybody. Small talk, small talk, small talk. How's it going, your business, Ward? Small talk, small talk. However long that small talk takes, take it. Right, well, let me tell you why I'm calling, Ward. You know, as you know, Lisa and I, what we've been doing are, you know, for, for a long period of time, okay, and I know you own your own business, but we just found something very exciting without the traditional overhead. 
And what we're doing right now, this is why I'm calling you, Ward, we have an immediate income component with this product that nobody has ever seen. Okay, we're putting people on a business plan to make six figures their first year. I'm gonna send you a two minute video, you're gonna understand how big our industry is. Right, because I know we've talked before, right, you're in a situation maybe you wanna get out of, but I do know one thing, Lisa and I, we, we've identified we need residual income. And we believe there's a big residual income component here. And we have a system that people could follow. So Ward, if I sent you this two minute video, would you watch it? I gotta get his, I gotta get his commitment if he was listening to me, okay? So Ward, would you watch it? <laughs> Good, I'm sending you the two minute video. Now, did that not just share with him what more to what's in the product? That's how you do it. And, and I'm just giving you, there's different ways and Jeremy made the great point. Sometimes you gotta reconnect first before you throw up, throw up all over them about your business. You know, some of you call people you haven't talked to in three years, and all of a sudden now you just talk about multi-level marketing. Be a person. How would you want to be approached? See, Jeremy had that relationship with me. So he could say, hey, bro, that relationship was already formed. We've talked, right, no, no less than once a month, once every couple of weeks. So when I got it, I understood because of my respect factor. How many people do you have on your list right now that you know you respect and they respect you? Have you called them yet? Well, I don't know. Those people have a lot of money. That's exactly who you need to call first. I didn't realize until just today that we were on Jeremy's chicken list. Because you know why? He knows we were in another company. Talk about a chicken list. As he puts it, people who've been more successful and in another company as leaders. You think he'd say, ah, there's no way. No, he didn't. He didn't say that because he didn't know. And here's a lot of your problems. You think you know. You think you know who will and who won't, and you don't. You don't. You have no idea. So just remember, if you're doing cold market, if you're doing cold market, it's a lot more numbers unless you set it up correctly, okay? Now, something, something um, that Miley Cyrus said, <laughs> we're all quoting Miley Cyrus, right? It says, sometimes somebody's gonna have to lose. Sometimes somebody's gonna have to lose. I'm not gonna go into what I want to go into today. I'm gonna use it for tomorrow, okay? Because we had Jeremy, we had everybody, this was a great call, okay? Listen, I never lose. I wanna keep your head right, everybody, on this call. You never lose. You don't lose a battle. I, don't, I never lose a battle. If someone says no to me, let me ask you a question. And I want everybody to hear this. Did I lose or did they lose? They lost. They said no to the opportunity. How can I lose? The only way I lose is if I did not talk to that person. That's when I lose. A lot of you are taking your nose as losses. It's not a loss, they lost. And maybe you all gotta get better at really sharing the vision better. That's all. Does that mean you lost because you didn't share the vision the right way? No, you can never lose if you're taking the journey. You can't. It's an impossibility to lose if you're taking the journey. And everybody on this call, okay, a big a majority of you are taking the journey. At least you're taking the journey to get on the call. So uh, 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 at least there's a success there that when you're done, you go, you know what? I at least committed and I did what I said I was going to do. I'm going to be on Diamond Zone. Now, so now that's a small success. So now take the steps of everything we teach on Diamond Zone or what, 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 what Jeremy teaches when he does a call, or what Chad and Natita teach. Take the necessary steps. If you were on the call on Monday, I was just talking to Fran. Uh, Fran and I were chatting uh, right before the call. She goes, you know how I'm gonna live my life? Five, four, three, two, one, and figure it out. 
five, four, three, two, one, and figure it out. That's how she's going to live. She said it. Well, where does she get five, four, three, two, one from the call on Monday from Peter, Peter Webb? Where does she get figure it out from here, from Diamond Zone? So that's how she's going to do it. Five, four, three, two, one, figure it out. And guess what? She lived it last, last pay cycle. She figured out, figured it out how to get to Diamond. Didn't just happen. She figured it out. So everybody, it's the same thing. You can never lose if you're sharing this opportunity. Can't. So with that, guys, it's 746. Get on the call. We'll, be, we'll finish up this training tomorrow. Um, and what's tomorrow? Thursday. Tomorrow, Thursday, and also Friday. So appreciate all of you. Jeremy, if you're still on, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother, for being on, on the call and for all you do for our team. Okay? You guys, thanks so much. Talk soon. Everybody say goodbye to everybody. Have an awesome day. Yay! Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye, Thanks, everybody. Everybody. Look, look, look at Dan. Look at Dan's being chauffeured around. This, this is, look, 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 look at Dan. This is the life of a grand diamond, everybody. Now he's got a private chauffeur in in Mexico. Look at Mexico. Where are you, brother? Oh, you're in. A, I'm not even close. Medellin, Colombia. Oh, he's in Colombia. He's got a private chauffeur. Look at. Where's the champagne? Where's the great poupon, Dan? It's too early, brother. No great poupon? <laughs> no great poupon, yet. <laughs> That's classic. I love that. Yeah, I'm going to call you. I need you for two minutes, brother. You available right. for two yeah, minutes? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready now. Okay. All right, bye, bye, okay. bye. <laughs>